What's up guys, so I know I've been bad about uploading, but I figured we'd document this, so CJ actually just got his car back from the shop recently, and actually this thing hasn't been driving for, what, seven months? Yep, seven months. So, it broke down. Blew a turbo, but um, Charlie helped me get it all back together. Uh, had to replace the turbo, we put in a an IHI VF43 out of an 07 uh, STI. Well, it's, it's brand new, but that's what it's supposed to go in. Um, just a regular old Amazon intercooler that's cheap as shit with a HQS high quality blow off valve. Um, <laughs> Not HKS, HQS. Exactly. JDM is fuck. Is that backwards? Yeah, it is. Yep. And then STI intake manifold and what the shop did, they found, um, we got it running, but it was throwing codes. Um, I checked for vacuum leaks, found all the, all that there were to be, to be found, but um, it was actually leaking from the turbo, the OEM turbo inlet, so uh, they replaced it with the Perrin one. So that's pretty neat, and then they went back through, checked all my vacuum lines and all my coolant lines, made sure that I didn't fuck anything up too bad, so. Yeah, because this intake had different vacuum ports. Yeah, it's there's the less vacuum ports than a stock uh, legacy. And well, this has to be finagled. Yeah, but uh, I just pulled it or pushed it back. Yeah. Oh nope. So that's that, and we. I also I got a Cobb access port for it. So, so you can probably tell by the title that we're going to be installing this today. Yep. So we're going to document the performance pre-access port and then we're going to go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like afterwards after we show you how to install it. It's really, really easy. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go get food because we just got off work. And we'll show you guys some poles before and the install and then some after. Also, I apologize for having to listen to the radio. Okay, well, we're gonna do the seat belt on. some drive pulls in just regular old D, and then if you flip it over right there, you get sport mode, which is pretty neat in my little manual Matic here. <laughs> So it's slower than it was before the turbo blew up because obviously when you put aftermarket parts on and don't tune it, it's not going to run as well. Yeah. And that's just how it works. So you lose horsepower. Um, and also the gas in here is quite old. I have not yet filled up. So we should probably do put a little in at least. Yeah, that wouldn't <laughs> hurt. during sport. It's decent. It builds boost a lot faster in sport mode. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very long time. I know. Step one. Gotta pull it out of the box. Make sure to read all the instructions. Cobb access port's finally here. Thank God it is. Now it's a real Subaru. Kinda. <clears throat> so you see BBS wraps in a lot more fake babies there. Let's see that. I'm gonna read it. Alright. So, you get a nice little case. Maps are preloaded. Oh. Just uh, peel that off. Gives me a boner. Do it. Ooh, that's the best part of ever having. Anything with a screen. Oh no. It'll give you a little tab. It's not as satisfying now. C CJ, you're killing the moment. I'm sorry. Do you want to try? Yes. Alright, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the peel. Oh, oh god. I made a mess <laughs> in my pants. Ah, uh, Jesus. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, 
That's I'll give that was extremely <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As far as the rest of the kit that you get, you get cob uh, sticker. Best part. You get cob sticker that's gonna go above my parent one back there, so I can flex on all these fake Subi owners. And then you get this neat little if they own a Subi, thing. they own it. How they fake. And then <laughs> you get one other faceplate, and then on the cob website you can order other ones, but black. With cool ones. Gray. No. Damn it. They have blue and red. Oh, well, that's dumb. So, there's that. Because Wagos in the Middle Ages. <laughs> it's got okay. that OPD zero. There's a little cap, so that's kind of neat. Key to on position. Oh, fancy. Okay, accept or go forward. So, the middle one's okay. Up and down, back. Install access port, yes. Yes it is. It's, well, it's not an Outback XT, but whatever. It's a legacy GT. The fact that it would even be compared with the Les Beru. So, it has all these different modes that you can do for your maps. Um, <clears throat> stage one, 91 octane. What does SF mean, Charlie? I don't know. You should probably read the manual. <laughs> I guess. It's super fast. Okay. I don't need BMW. So, <clears throat> apparently on uh, earlier model legacy GTs, such as my own, um, you have to connect some test wires. If it'll focus. Um, you have to connect some test wires. In this case, this is an 05 Legacy GT, so um, Outback XTs will be similar. Right. Test wires are down here under the footwell. Uh, yeah, so you have to connect those together. All right, it's uploading. Saving factory ECU. All right, it saved the old one, and now it's uploading the new Stage 1 tune. And so while we, wait, while we wait, we'll just uh, scroll through Tinder and what do y'all think? Like, comment, subscribe on whether or not I should swipe right on this one. All of them. All right, it's said to swipe left, okay. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a swipe right. She had Gary's song on her Spotify, that's a yes. <coughs> that's a keeper. So now it flashed the ECU, so we just gotta turn it off and then I assume unplug the test wires. Whatever to tell you. Yeah. Let's continue. Yeah. <coughs> Please disconnect the green wires. So I'm gonna turn it off like that. Charlie's gonna. I need, uh, I need some off. light. I got you. Haha. <laughs> Get fucked. Now would you like to put the panel back in the car? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you. Just gonna stay like that now. Maybe. Installation successful. Please turn ignition key to the off position for at least 15 seconds before starting the vehicle. Ah. All right. So, Charlie, do you want to count us down? No. One. <laughs> two. Elemento. Three. Elemento P. Okay. Gauges. Oh, cool. So, you can choose how many gauges you want. I'm gonna go with five. And so, let's see, that one, um, change monitor. We might have to charge this camera battery. You can choose what you want it to be. I'm There's gonna go so with boost. Of course. Because that's important. Can you just make them all boost? Ooh. That sounds better. It does. You hit 1.87 PSI. That sounds like a lot better. Did it sound like crap before? It just sounded quiet. Oh. All right. Go to horsepower. <laughs> horsepower. 
All right, let's oh, let me put my seatbelt on. Thank you. Safety first is illegal for no, me to just because I don't want to hear beeping. I care about your safety, Charlie. Oh, that's a lot faster. It is. Pretty quick, yeah. <laughs> it's building. Eight did you? Pounds. It builds boost a lot faster now. Did you see what it hit? It, hit, it tells you the max it hit. Nine. <laughs> nice. It revs a lot faster. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know, pretty good. But pretty good. Fuck it. You get three miles to the gallon. It has really good throttle response now. <laughs> like there's much less boost lag. It's awesome possum. We don't boost. even know about boost lag. <laughs> yeah, what would you know about boost lag with your fucking 90 millimeter turbo? 72. It can fit a bird in it. How about that? A big bird. It can fit 72 of my penis in it. I'm gonna let you think about what you just said. Yeah. Just find a hundred and four. You sit back there and just think about it. I don't do that often. Think about what you've done. <laughs> Anyways. This is probably going to conclude the Cobb installation on a 2005 Subaru Legacy GT. Yes, I would say that this is... Because the camera is about to die. <laughs> That's the only re- what? So... And it's also late as fuck already. Yep. Yeah. Gets dark fast now. Yeah, as you can see, it's 8.59.